Moving on, we have this news courtesy of Global News Wire regarding Kai Sina and I Show Speed. They have announced an exclusive streaming deal with Rumble. This is again proof. This is again proof um, that Rumble is trying their best to kind of steer away from being the home of conservative voices or whatever of cancelled people and trying to become an all around streaming platform, which is a pretty clever tactic, I think. You're better off doing that and just having it being a base where you can kind of be free and say what you want as opposed to kind of only representing one political point of view. I think that is going to lead um, to more longevity and to the possibility of actually competing with the likes of Twitch and YouTube. So, so as follows, Rumble, the popular video sharing platform, announced today's collaboration with Kai Sina and iShow Speed for an exclusive joint live stream show on Rumble. The official trailer for the Kai and Show Speed will be released on all major social media platforms and gives fans a glimpse of the crazy things to come up with two creators. Kai Sina was recently named one of the 20 most currently influential creators right now by Rolling Stone and number one most subscribed stream in Twitch history. iShow Speed is number one US based gaming streamer on YouTube and has amassed more than 1.5 3 billion views crazy the two streaming heavyweights will launch their first rumble stream on may 26 2023 you can subscribe to their channel here it's interesting because we haven't seen that yet have we um streaming platforms signing two people usually it's only one person gets the deal and you just do your normal streaming show but now we're going to get two people being signed up and doing a basically a show together um obviously most of you have seen some kai Sinat content he does he's really fun shows on twitch where he invites guests and stuff he does skits he does pranks there's like a cast of people that kind of roll in and roll out that's quite cool to see so i just to see how this kind of develops and sort of kind of goes on it continues here it says being able to have full creative control was important for us said kai Sina. i'm grateful that we get to do what we always do and combine audiences on a new level with rumble we are very excited to partner with rumble on this show added i show speed we know our fans are going to love what we have in the works a few surprises plus it's always crazy time when me and kai are together this is a historic moment something that was all nearly impossible a year ago and now a reality today as we look for ahead to expand our audience and content offerings rumble is excited to have the two top Top content creators on our platform said ceo of rumble chris pavlovsk pavlovsky both speed and kai have done something that could change the landscape of the internet forever and we're looking forward to what's coming from the partnership so obviously um this is a big deal i think overall i think it definitely will kind of add to some competition out there i'm interested to know how much money do rumble make rumble must be making a hell of a, a lot of money the fact that they kind of you know they, they gave um dj academics a pretty decent um deal they also gave Kai Sina and these guys a decent deal. I read on internet, on social, that it could be about 20 million, um, allegedly for this streaming contract, which is fucking nuts. Um, I saw Aiden Ross mention that allegedly Kick offered them for you, but they turned it down. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But regardless, this is pretty sick overall. Um, maybe I might have to start a rumble. I might have to go in there and start a rumble and see if I can get some fucking, um, reparation, affirmative action fucking bucks as well. Maybe they'll look at me and think, Hey, you know, young black man here from a, from a, uh, from a low income area <laughs> let's give him a little bit of help let's put a couple of mils in his pocket fuck you know that'll be awesome honestly i'll be i'll be all over that mate help my mum out you know what i mean um get myself a little place get myself a nice little mini micro right a nice little peugeot 306 gti right 98 model ooh, ooh, ooh. living life nice and comfortably that'll be absolutely awesome let's actually check the flipping um trailer actually i thought the trailer was actually amazing the trailer was quite funny this is again courtesy of them uh there it is here um it kind of gives you a brief example as to what you can expect for them just loads of craziness this trailer is fucking crazy um kai the kai and speed show is called let's play it. i'm sure most of you have seen it but let's play it anyway i've been thinking since you been, let's start our own show. No, nah, man, I'm getting out. Professional football player. <laughs> Professional footballer? Man United. Striker. Bro, get off Ronaldo's dick. You ISO speed from Ohio, the only thing that you striking is messy hitting your mom. All right, so we starting the show. What the fuck we doing? Oh, 
fucking damn it, bro. What the fuck are you? Bro, anybody gonna watch this? Yeah, you right. You born as fuck anyways, bro. Bro, you from Ohio. And bitch, you from the Bronx. Bro. Fuck you. What the fuck? Not bad, isn't it? Not flipping bad. Um, a little bit crazy, a little bit excessive. You have to be kind of into that sort of level of content. It's going to be a lot of noise, a lot of screaming, a lot of overreaction shit, but kids these days love it. They fucking eat it up, um, clearly. And it's got a flipping audience, and clearly it has because they're fucking backing up the Brinks truck for them. So I'm eager to see what's going on. But if you hear of any flipping deals happening there where they're flipping highlighting and trying to perform or highlight and spotlight, you know, <laughs> disadvantaged people, <laughs> give your boy a call. Right? Let me know. Get at me if they're, if they're running some deals from people from disadvantaged neighborhoods, from rough upbringings, with mental health issues. Um, what else do I have wrong with me? Who left school early? You know all those things, right? Like who come from a gang-riddled neighborhood, who have friends that have been to prison and murdered. Whatever, whatever issues going on. If I get some sort of like shine from it, let me know. If there's any sort of incentives going on out there, any programs, whatever, let your boy, <laughs> let your boy know. I'll start screaming and running around my room. Also, mate, trust me. I'll start screaming and running around my room. But big up Kai Cena and I show speed. Sick to see. Hopefully the show goes from shrimp to shrimp. But also, like I said, credit to Rumble, man. They're making sure. They're making sure that they're kind of pivoting away from that whole conservative thing because that's what messed up on that channel. What was that platform called? Was it DLive? Do you guys remember that? DLive for a bit? There was this thing called DLive and that was just turned into like all the cancelled conservative voices, right wing, white supremacist type guys who got cancelled on YouTube and Twitch running over there. And obviously it kind of fucked up their platform after. And I think if I'm not mistaken, Beck to Alaska might be the reason why DLive went under as well, if I'm not mistaken. Beck to Alaska did what Beck to Alaska does and kind of, you know, um, put some smart on them. So I think if you put your hat on those cancelled guys, they're going to try and push the edge too much and you're going to end up losing sponsors. You're going to end up getting taken off of fucking Amazon Web Services and Cloudfair and all these flipping shits and maybe the ability to make money and to have a bank account might be taken away from you. So you have to kind of play nice. So the best way to go do it is to kind of make sure you apply, to, you appeal to both places, but also just make sure it's a neutral ground. So this is pretty, pretty smart from them overall. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Um, yeah, exactly. Good question, 730. It's not good to associate anyway, pop politically. Bingo, bingo, bingo. I think it's difficult though, isn't it? Because I think streamers just demand so much from their platforms. But I think essentially, if you're providing a per people with a platform to put stuff on, you should just let it be apolitical. Do whatever you want, both sides, middle, whatever. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't be pushing one type of narrative, as Brendan would say, or POV. You should just be apolitical, be neutral, let it be what it is, and kind of let the chips fall where they are. But, you know, I guess there's more money, maybe being a little more, a little bit more left leaning. I'm not really too sure if that's the case. Maybe, you got, I think that maybe is, makes, makes more sense, right? Because everybody's a bit more left leaning in society and trying to be understanding of things that way. So if you are a little bit more politically left leaning, then and it kind of will help you especially with all this kind of you know stuff going on in media and culture war but i think overall the things that are going to win in this new era of content or these platforms especially with the likes of kick and um what's it thing called and um rumble doing bits i think even tiktok for to a certain extent they're also i think a platform where you can kind of get away with a with a few bits and bobs that you probably wouldn't get away with on, on twitter or on instagram that definitely kind of works and look at even twitter now let's not deny i think twitter is I think I've seen way more kind of what you deem to be quote unquote dog whistly racist content on Twitter. There's loads of these weird accounts where these guys like fetishize like places like Switzerland and shit or like Finland and whatever other places in Europe where there's not a lot of immigration. There's a lot of those kind of accounts, right? Where they have these kind of Roman, um, they have these kind of, you know, Roman flipping people as they're flipping avatars and shit. So a lot of these weird dog whistly racist type of accounts have popped up, but we can't deny Twitter was way more fun now than it was before. Under Elon, it's way more fun because why? He just let shit run. 
it's already crazy on there because you see fucking full on porn on there yeah day to day which is it gets it takes a while for your eyes to get used to it but i think twitter's way more fun and i spend way more time on it now than i did on any other social media platform because it's just flipping the wild wild west you can kind of say what the fuck you want on there to a certain extent and get away with a lot more than you did under the previous regime and i think that kind of makes for better content better lows um better you know time online time spent scrolling all that sort of shit i'm um, going forward but again what do i know what do i know 